again, I just gathered some supplies so we can do our very own cloud experiment and make a cloud viewer at home. Today, if you'd like to do the experiment with me, you'll need a cup of water, some shaving cream, and some blue food coloring. If you don't have those things at home, you can watch my experiment today and see what happens. If you'd like to make our cloud viewer together, all you need to make that is a piece of paper, scissors, and something to draw. Before we get started, let's do our weather graph today. Now remember, your weather graph probably is going to look different than mine because weather changes all over the place. Let's sing our weather song together. Ready? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy out today? Is it snowy? Is it windy? What's the weather like today? Walk outside, see what your weather's like. My weather, I see some clouds outside, but I still see the sun shining. So I'd say that means today is partly cloudy. So I'll color one in for partly cloudy. Now remember, your weather graph is probably gonna look different than mine. So if your weather's not partly cloudy today, you can color in whatever your weather is on your own weather graph. Now if I look at my graph, look, we have the same amount for rainy as I do on partly cloudy. What's the same on your weather graph? How cool! I don't have two on mine yet in the same spot, so nothing's greater or less than yet. Do you have anything greater or less than yet on your graph? Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to continue our weather graph. Well, since we're finished talking about our weather graph for now, I'll set my weather graph aside and get ready to learn more about our clouds that we talked about today. Earlier, we learned about four different kinds of clouds. We talked about the cirrus clouds. We talked about the stratus clouds. Good, I'm glad you're doing the motions with me. We talked about our nimbus clouds. And we talked about our cumulus clouds. Very good. Well, today, since we're gonna be talking about clouds, I thought it'd be fun to do a cloud experiment. Remember when we read our story yesterday that was nonfiction, we learned that clouds are actually made of tiny droplets of water that group together and they make clouds of all shapes and sizes. So today I have my cup of water and on top of my cup of water, I'm going to put some shaving cream. I'm gonna shake up my shaving cream. Make a cloud. There we go. Now, I didn't have actual shaving cream that gets really poofy at my house. Mr. Dan uses this shave gel, so it's pretty similar. Now, when it goes to rain, rain falls from the clouds down into the air. So think about our water like the air. Here comes the rain. Look what's happening to our water. What do you notice happening? Yes, very good. If you look closely, you can see that the rain is still on top of the cloud that I made, but it quickly started to fall into the sky. And now look, all of the food coloring is going towards the ground. Kind of like when it rains, it makes puddles and there could be more water and streams and rivers and more that accumulates in the ocean. I think maybe tomorrow we could learn about the water cycle because that is exactly what this reminds me of. 
Well, I'll let our experiment continue to happen and kind of slide it aside. I'll move our materials so we can get ready to make our very own cloud watcher while you're watching my cloud. And if you're doing the experiment at home, remember you could pause the video, watch your experiment. You could even draw a picture of what your prediction was, what you thought would happen and what ended up happening. I thought it was pretty cool. Well, today we're going to make our very own cloud viewer. Now, I know I had my shaving cream here, so it might be a little bit wet on my table. Don't mind me. To make our cloud viewer today, you can use any size piece of paper. I'm just going to use a piece of paper I had from my printer. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a pretty big rectangle inside of this rectangle. So I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to whoop, I'm going to fold it in half. Make my ends kiss and gently press down. Nice fold. Now, I am going to cut a little rectangle out right here. I'm not going to draw one, but if it helps you, you could draw one so that you can see where you're cutting. In fact, I'll draw a little one just so that you can see what I'm thinking for my rectangle. I don't want it too big. I don't want it too small. I want it just right because if I cut it too close to the edges, my paper will be too flimsy and it'll fall over. So my rectangle should have, I don't know, maybe an inch or two, about as tall as my thumb on all sides. I just estimated, it's not perfect. Now I'm going to keep my paper folded and I'm going to cut up, 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 and over and across. Now I bet this part you could do by yourself. And then I'm gonna open it up and Ta-da! There's my rectangle. Now remember, you could do this with a smaller piece of paper. In fact, you could even make a second cloud watcher with this piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Any size will work. Well, today I'm going to put four different clouds, just like I have up here on my poster, on my cloud watcher. Now, there are lots of these that you could ask mom or dad or your babysitter, grandma, grandpa, whoever you have at home, to help you print and cut out. You don't need to make your own, but I always like to make my own of things because then it helps me remember when I write things down and it helps me feel good as a learner when I can do something all by myself and learn it on my own. But if you want to, you could find this and print it somewhere on the internet. Well, today we're going to be making a big letter T all the way down our paper down and stop and down and stop and then all the way across and I'm just gonna estimate it doesn't have to be perfect to make my four sections so I'm going to have four different clouds now if you remember yesterday or not yesterday I guess a little bit we learned about our clouds and our story and today we talked all about clouds when we read about Cyril the Lonely Cloud there's a song that I like to sing. Of course, you know I love to sing. That reminds me of all these different kinds of clouds. And it goes to the tune of the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Touch your nose if you know that song. Mm-hmm, I thought you would. But instead of about a spider, it's about clouds. It goes like this. You can stop the video after I sing and then play it again so you can sing it with me and learn it, okay? Sounds good. Okay, ready? Cirrus clouds are feathery, farthest from the ground. Cumulus are puffy, in the middle they are found. Stratus are layered, gray fog everywhere. And in times of rainy weather, Nimbus clouds are there. So that song reminds me of the different kinds of clouds that we learned about. How cirrus are high in the sky, they're farthest from the ground. Stratus are great and layered like fog. Nimbus are rain. And cumulus are puffy. So now on my cloud viewer, I'm going to draw the different kinds of clouds. The first one I'm going to draw is, let's see, start with my cirrus clouds. They're high in the sky, high in the sky and stretch like cotton. 
Oh, my experiment looks awesome. I'll move it over so you can see what I'm drawing. So if you notice when I drew a serious cloud over here, it's kind of thin and wispy. So that's what I'm going to draw. Thin and wispy. And I really just drew a bunch of wiggles. Look at that. Nothing too fancy. And I'm going to write the word cirrus. Cirrus. And I'm making sure I'm using my personal best to write the word like a scientist to spell it the right way. It's okay if you want to sound it out, but I wrote it the right way today, the adult spelling, so that I'm thinking like a scientist. So I have cirrus clouds, they're thin and wispy. Hmm. Now I'll change my marker and do stratus. They're also thin and wispy, but these ones are low in the sky and have layers like what? Fog, you got it. So I'm going to draw my stratus cloud pretty straight across. I'm gonna draw a few of them to show they're layered. Remember, I'm making them pretty, pretty easy to draw. Just kind of big waves in the sky. So this one is stratus. S-T-R-A-T-U-S. -S. Stratus. I'm going to color them in a little bit gray there. A little bit gray. And they're kind of like fog. Now, I think I'll move on to cumulus. And I'll switch back to that happy blue color because cumulus clouds are pretty big and fluffy, but they have a flat bottom. So when I draw my flat bottom cumulus, I'll start with a straight line and then lots of big poofs around the line. And to write the word cumulus, I'm going to write C-U-M. U-L-U-S, cumulus, lots of U's in that one, huh? There we go. And the last one is Nimbus, the rain cloud. So I'll go back to gray. Now they don't always have to be gray, but usually kind of like Cyril, they are pretty big. And if they're cumulonimbus, they are storm clouds. So I'm gonna draw my cumulonimbus and kind of like a darker one next to it, put a little bit of gray on him, and make my raindrops. Whatever you do, make sure you add your raindrops. Now, if you are seeing some nimbus clouds when you go outside, you know that it's going to rain. You got it. So now write the word nimbus. N-I-M-B-U-S, like bus, nimbus. There we go. Whoops, <laughs> there we go. Now we have our little cloud viewer. So I could hold it like this when I go outside and I can hold it like a picture frame in the sky and I can look to see what kind of clouds I see. Like right now, if I hold it to my window, I'm gonna look, they're kind of long, flat clouds. Hmm, they're not really gray. So I think I'm looking at cirrus clouds. If you want, you could even attach your cloud viewer with a straw or a popsicle stick. You could put two of them on the back so that you could hold it up to the sky like that. Or you could just use your hands and you could hold it up. That's what I'll probably do when I go outside. I'll hold it up just like this and look in the middle and see what I can see outside. So it'll help me think like a scientist and look for these clouds when I'm outside. Well, I would love to see if you do your cloud experiment at home or if you make your own cloud viewer. I can't wait. I hope you had fun. Happy cloud watching.